Good morning everyone. It is Wednesday morning, the 2nd of December. I'm going to come together this morning and read from 1 Thessalonians and chapter 3. Let's hear God's word as we read it together. Finally, when we could stand it no longer, we decided to stay alone in Athens and we sent Timothy to visit you. He is our brother and God's co-worker in proclaiming the good news of Christ. We send him to you to strengthen you, to encourage you in your faith and to keep you from being shaken by the troubles we, you were going through. But you know that we are destined for such troubles. Even while we were with you, we warned you that troubles would come soon and they did, as you well know. That is why I could bear it no longer. I sent Timothy to find out whether your faith was still strong. I was afraid that the tempter had gotten the best of you and that our work had been useless. But now Timothy has returned, bringing us good news about your faith and love. He reports that you always remember our visit with joy and that you want to see us as much as we want to see you. So we have been greatly encouraged in the midst of our troubles and suffering, dear brothers and sisters, because you have remained strong in your faith. It gives us new life to know that you're standing firm in the Lord. How we thank God because of you. Because of you, we have great joys as we enter God's presence. Day and night, we pray earnestly for you, asking God to let us see you again to fill the gaps in your faith. May God, our Father and our Lord Jesus, bring us to you very soon. And may the Lord make your love for one another and for all people grow and overflow, just as our love for you overflows. May he, as a result, make your heart strong, blameless and holy as you stand before God, our Father, when our Lord Jesus comes again with all his holy people. Amen. Amen. And that's the end of 1 Thessalonians chapter 3. One thing to pick out from that, um, Paul talks about sending Timothy to visit the Thessalonians to encourage him to find out how they're doing, to bring him a report. And you know, God does bring alongside us those people who are there to encourage us, to help us, to walk with us, um, and, to, and to egg us along. Maybe you can identify that, maybe you, get, you can point to somebody and you know that God has brought that person into your life to do that for you. Or maybe you're the person who has that gift you're great at listening to people and helping them and just, just helping them talk through situations and just encouraging them where they are. Because we all need a Timothy, but some of us are Timothys as well. You know, we all need that person to encourage us, but maybe our gift is to encourage others. And to be able to use that gift for God's glory is amazing. Because you know yourself, if you, if you have, if you can identify that person who encourages you, you know what they mean to you. Just to be able to um, pick up a phone or to meet them uh, and have a chat with them. Just to, to talk through things which are going on in your life, just in general terms, as well as uh, in Bible terms, as faith terms. And you know how much that means to you. So to know that you can do that for somebody else and to be able to do that is, is amazing and incredible. So today, who is your Timothy? Because whoever your Timothy is, pray for them. Well, it's, it, it's, it's a man or a woman, maybe even somebody who's a lot younger in the faith, whoever it is, uh, pray for them. Pray that as they encourage you, that they would continue to have their own faith strengthened and increased day by day. But if you are a Timothy, then pray that God would give you the opportunities to be able to share with others, to be able to walk with others and to help them as well. Because you can see from reading that passage just how much it meant for that church in Thessalonica to have Timothy with them uh, and to be able to be used by God in that way. Um, not only encourages the person you're helping, but it encourages you also. Let's pause and let's pray about that this morning. Father, thank you again for another glorious day. Thank you for the sunshine that we can see. And Lord, yes, it, it's, co it's cooler today as, as the seasons change. But again, Lord, the changing seasons, seasons remind us that you are in control, that you have set them to be such. 
uh, and remind us just of your designing and creating hand behind all that is around us. And we thank you so much for that this morning. Lord, thank you for the, the people that you bring into our lives. Thank you for the Timothys, those people who encourage us, um, who walk alongside us, who pray for us, uh, and Lord, help to, to, to keep us on a right path. And whenever we're feeling down, help to encourage us and turn our eyes back to you again. Father, for those who you have gifted in this way as well, please help them to be able to use these gifts um, to do not hide them, but rather to use them for your glory and honour. And in doing so, Lord, that that in itself would encourage them. So, Lord, thank you for another glorious day. And please be with us this day, we pray. In Christ's name. Amen. Thanks, folks, for joining with me this morning. Um, I trust you have a good day. Just looking out, you can see the blue sky. Uh, I just trust that today you know God's peace and God's blessing. Take care. I'll see you same, same time tomorrow. Bye.